Hey guys, Sammy D here, and I am so excited to be back for today's episode because we are going to profile one of my favorite vintage thrift secondhand consignment stores in the whole world. It's called Emotional Outlet, and my dear friend Michelle owns it. Now, if you've been watching my channel, which hopefully you have, for the last few videos, you may remember a video called Unboxing Vintage Love. I profiled Emotional Outlet with a big old box of vintage that Michelle sent me and then wore all of her pieces all around New York City. So the reason I'm here today is actually because um, I still don't have a home. Uh, you may remember I ended my relationship way back in February. Um, I haven't had a permanent home because I was planning on moving back to an old apartment and I get to move back next week, woohoo! But in the meantime, I still don't have a home so Michelle was like, why don't you just stay with me and shoot some YouTube videos? So this is the first of three videos that I'm going to shoot here in Kanajahari, New York. Uh, this is a very small town in upstate New York. That's what we call it, upstate. Um, or at least if you're a New Yorker. And it's beautiful here. It's just, I call it God's country. And I also love it because I find the thriftiest treasures ever. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go check out Michelle's store. I'm gonna show you everything it has to offer. And I'm gonna pull four to five outfits. I'm gonna style them that, you know, wear hats, wear jewelry, uh, purses, the whole nine yards. And I want you guys to vote for your favorite look in the comments, because I love to know what you like best. So let's go in there and let's do this and spread some vintage and thrift love. shopped for like an hour literally um pulled a lot of things tried them on decided not to try them on but these are the looks i have so many accessories too you're gonna go bonkers so i'm gonna go i'm gonna start putting on my looks in the fitting room can't wait to share them with you and let's see which one y'all like the most why hello there it's look number one. Oh my gosh, I wanna take this look home with me. I love it so much, especially because I don't really dress like this all the time. I tend to have a little bit more of a boho 70s babe vibe. And then when I dress up, it's like extreme style, like shoulder pads and sequins and just a way to bedazzle the world. But this is just such a nice, subtle retro look. You could almost say it's rockabilly, but not quite. And some of the reasons I love it is because this clutch, first and foremost, is absolutely amazing. Uh, you can't fit much in it, but it just looks so great as something to hold delicately on your side. And we didn't really know if this was gonna work. Um, Michelle and I, we went through a ton of gloves and we decided on a pair of almost elbow high black gloves. They just add this sort of like air of elegance to the look as if I were really going somewhere serious. I don't know where, but I just love the way that they look with the outfit and it truly ties together the red, the black, and 
the white. And then we were like, something's missing from the top. I mean, is there a black, like a wide brimmed black hat that we have in the store? We didn't have one, but Michelle miraculously found a bag of feathers that you can put in your hair and pin on your clothing. So we decided to do one in my hair and um, I pulled my um, hair back into just like a back bun and clipped it into my hair. I wish I had a little bit more because I feel like I would actually go a little bit more like carnival style and just have a ton of feathers shooting up. But again, that's the extreme side of me. Um, and then of course we have the top and the bottom which pair together because it's that stripes with polka dot sensibility. Um, it's definitely trended on and off for the last few years, but I love the way it looks. It particularly works because we've got more of a mini polka dot and not a massive polka dot and a mini stripe. And obviously we're using some white space because it's a crop top, um, but the red and the black, it's just so sexy without overdoing it. And the skirt is utterly ladylike. And it's just something I feel like I compare with pretty much anything, even if it were just a white t-shirt and I would look fabulous. So guys, that was look number one. Let's go see what look number two looks like. Why, hello again. We have look number two. This look is what I'm calling Sammy Sunshine because hello, it's a bright canary yellow. So here's the backstory behind this dress. Michelle gets consigners all day, every day. People just walk into the store with bags of treasure, I'm telling you. And she showed me this bag that she hadn't even processed yet. Now process means basically she goes through the garments, she decides what she likes, she decides, okay, I need to seam this or fix this, what have you. But she did say, I think there's some good vintage in here. Well, lo and behold, this dress was there. And guys, um, there's a lot of replicas of these styles um, out there. Definitely like anthropology, free people. Those are some you know brands I can think of um, off the top of my head who really love to mimic this look. But this is like a classic 60s sort of Mexican-esque dress. If anyone out there knows a little bit more about the style and would love to inform all of us in the comments, please, your knowledge is our power, but I absolutely adore it. All right, so just some details about the dress that you may or may not have noticed. The sleeves, this is a slight bell sleeve, but it ends at the elbow, um, and then it has this awesome um, embroidered design, and it's like a darker yellow on a lighter, brighter yellow, and then we have the same embroidery along the neckline. This is, I would just call it a square neckline. There could be a better term for it. It is as long as my ankles, if not longer, since I'm wearing some platform shoes. And I love that it has a slight A-line flare because if I'm feeling a little bloated, nobody can tell. And I still look sexy. This is a one-of-a-kind garment. Um, I'm joking with Michelle that she's never gonna see it again, and I think that's the truth. And so what I decided to pair it with were just two simple accessories. I really wanted to focus your eyes, guys, on the dress. I could have added a purse, but I just decided to go with these awesome woven earrings that are just really like things you can buy off, you know, the street if you wanted to. Nothing super special, but definitely super special because they're from a secondhand store and affordable. And then this this awesome necklace, which is actually from Chico's. Uh, some of you may remember that chain, and it just it looks like a, a green gemstone of some sort, which I'm not educated on gems, but it looks very, very, very pretty, and it pairs very well with yellow since green and yellow are definitely complementary colors. So that was look number two, guys. Let's go see what number three looks like. Hey guys, check it out. We've got look number three. I absolutely love this look because it just really blends um, modern trends with refashioning, repurposing, rediscovering how to wear different pieces of clothing. So technically, my top is a scarf. It's just a very, very large scarf. And when thinking about what to pair with this amazing denim skirt, which on the rack doesn't look like much, but it is a wonderful silhouette on the body. 
I knew that I needed to go with something that kind of had some brown hues to it so that I could just play off of the whole subdued denim look but in a super feminine way. So I found this scarf and it's like I struck gold because I just tied it um, into a triangle, folded it over on the top and tied it in the back. I absolutely love how it feels on. It's a great piece of clothing for a super hot day. Just wear your sunscreen. And it's perfect because it covers um, my little belly um, because the skirt is slightly high-waisted. Um, and so the scarf covers all of that area. Now, the skirt itself is actually just an L.L. Bean. Um, I want to say it's from the 90s. But again, it just it has this great shape. I've paired it with these awesome clip-on earrings. I don't know if you know that they're clip-ons, but they're clip-ons. Never ever write off clip-on earrings. You don't know how they're gonna look on. Sometimes they don't stay, but when they do stay, they're usually these epic finds that no one else has. And then what I did is I shortened um, just a basic um, gold chain with a faux gem necklace. It just ties everything together. I always find that um, Color coordinating works for me when it comes to mixing and matching secondhand garments because I'm really finding treasures from all over the, the, the world. Technically, these aren't pieces that were meant to be paired together, but with the right time and the right thought, you can make it work. So guys, that was look number three. Let's go see what look number four looks like. Why, hello there. We have look number four. Guys, this is a look that, I don't know, I don't know if you're gonna dig it, but I love it. I just feel like a 60s goddess in this dress. This is a Leslie Faye dress. Now, Leslie Faye, if you are a thrifter and you're looking for vintage, this is a frequently seen label you just you're like looking through the dresses and inevitably you're going to see a leslie Fay. but what's so special about this dress is that it actually has um a fringe waist tie i've never seen something like this and i've seen a lot of vintage in my day and it's completely buttoned down the front and it has almost like forget it this is called a peter pan collar but it's a very very sharp collar so that you know you can tell that your dress has a collar and cuffs i love it because it's flowy it's a polyester blend so it will wash well um and i can wear it pretty much all seasons out of the year fall spring winter if i want to wear florals in the winter and summer so what i've paired it with um i really want it to be colorful in this outfit and this purple faux fur um, I guess gold link clutch purse, oversized purse, is perfect for the look. It is simply adorable and it is just, it's just something that's, it's just so fun. And when you're holding it with your dress, you just, you feel like you're adding a really special element to what you're wearing actually. Because the purple makes all of the other purple in the dress truly pop. Now for my earrings, um, I'm also wearing earrings that are most likely from the 70s. This is a purple gemstone and then on the other side is a blue. Um, so I love that it's purple and blue and they're, you know, dangly earrings. So that gives a little bit of emphasis around my face because I have this clean bun on my head. And then just for fun, why not? We have just some pink beads around my wrist. This was a frequently seen accessory of the 60s and 70s. Nothing special there, but I love this look. Again, it makes me just feel like I'm straight out of the decade. I don't always dress like that, but when I do, I like to own it. So if you guys like the 60s, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you. So that was look number four. Let's go see what the final look looks like. Oh my gosh, it's look number five, and I am loving this dress. I feel like I need to go out dancing in this little, I'm guessing late 60s, early 70s number. It has this great, um, very small um, kind of ruffle at the bottom. It's almost like a little peplum flare, and the print is just like a party on my bod. I mean, I don't even know what's happening. It's like flowers and then some like, 
geometric shapes and um, what you know kind of resemble eyes or, or tulips and it's just all over me on a red base like a psychedelic print however what I decided to do was to add even more color to what was already colorful because when you're colorful why not be more colorful so surprisingly this is just an Ann Taylor um, patent leather or faux leather um, handbag it has this great clasp in the front and it opens up and there are tons of compartments and it's just great for work and also great for a party dress such as this because it's kind of like a baby blue color. It doesn't quite match the blue um, on the dress, but you know, it's still the same colorway, it still works. So don't feel like you have to be too matchy-matchy when you're styling secondhand or vintage or whatever it is that you're purchasing. All right, so then I added this very simple wooden bangle bracelet, um, but it was perfect because it has the pink and the blue on the bracelet. These are just what look like to be kind of like glue-on faux gemstones. Um, and again, it's just great. It's really easy peasy. I can put it on my wrist and, and walk and I don't even have to remember that it's there. And then on my ears, I have these very, very lovely silver and blue uh, faux gemstone earrings that hang ever so slightly. They're very delicate, which I think is necessary because there's a lot of other stuff happening with this dress. So this is a look at number five. I hope you guys liked all of the looks because I know I did. I had so much fun styling them with Michelle. I absolutely love her. I love her store. I wish everyone here can just come up to Cottage Johari and go shopping. Now I want to ask you guys, which look is your favorite? Was it look number one, two, three, four, or five? Let me know in the comments, and if there's some ties, I want to know about that too. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, share this with another secondhand style lover in your life, and I will see you on the next episode. Bye! So guys, I had so much fun filming here today at Emotional Outlet. I just feel like I can hang out in this store all day. I mean, who wouldn't want to live in a store full of fabulous secondhand finds? Guys, please follow Emotional Outlet on Instagram and check out her online shop. She's on Etsy, Poshmark, and eBay. If you're not on Poshmark yet, I'm gonna link below where you guys can get $5 if you sign up with my link. Ching, ching! Already spreading the vintage and thrift love. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this episode, let y'all know that there's two more videos out of upstate uh, New York coming down the pipeline. So much more vintage and thrift love coming at ya. All right, bye for now.